Chris Christofferson was a legendary figure in both the music and film industries, known for his deep, soulful songwriting and his rugged, compelling on-screen presence. Born on June 22nd of 1936 in Brownsville, Texas, he came from a military family and initially followed in his father's footsteps by attending Pomona College and later receiving a Rhodes Scholarship to Oxford University where he studied literature. Now, despite his academic success, Christofferson's heart was set on becoming a songwriter, a dream that would define his legacy. Now, before launching his music career, Christofferson served in the U.S. Army as a helicopter pilot, reaching the rank of captain. At one point, he was offered a teaching position at West Point, but he turned it down to pursue his musical aspirations, moving to Nashville in the mid-1960s. Now, Christofferson's early years in Nashville were filled with struggle. He worked as a janitor at Columbia Studios while pitching his songs to artists and producers. His breakthrough came when he famously landed a helicopter on Johnny Cash's lawn to deliver some of his music. Now, Cash eventually recorded Christofferson's song, Sunday Morning Coming Down, establishing him as a top-tier songwriter. Now, Christofferson quickly gained recognition for his songwriting, with many of his songs becoming hits for other artists, including Me and Bobby McGee, famously recorded by Janis Joplin, uh, Help Me Make It Through the Night, a hit for Sammy Smith, Good for the Good Times, or For the Good Times, recorded by Ray Price. Sunday Morning Coming Down, recorded, of course, by Johnny Cash. His songwriting stood out for its poetic realism, reflecting the counterculture movements of the 1960s and the 70s with themes of heartbreak and loss and redemption. In 1970, Christofferson released his self-titled debut album, which included many of his iconic songs. His success continued with albums like the Silver Tongue Devil and I in 1971, and Jesus Was a Capricorn in 72, which featured the hit Why Me. In the 1980s, Christofferson joined Willie Nelson, Johnny Cash, and Waylon Jennings to form the supergroup The Highwaymen. Together, they recorded several albums and became one of the most well, influential country music acts of the decade. Now, in addition to his musical career, Christofferson became a notable actor. His breakthrough role came in A Star is Born, 1976, alongside Barbara Streisand, for which he won a Golden Globe. And over the years, Christofferson appeared in a wide variety of films, including Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid in 73, Convoy in 78, and the Blade film series from 98 to 2004, where he played the character Whistler. Christofferson's impact on both music and film was, it was immense. He won multiple Grammy Awards and was inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame in 2004. In 2014, he received the Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award, solidifying his place as one of the most influential songwriters of his generation. Now, Christofferson retired from music in 2021 due to health issues, but his legacy continues to inspire musicians across genres. His emotional, raw lyrics and genre-blending approach in both country and folk music made him a defining figure in American culture. Christofferson passed away peacefully on September the 28th of 2024 at his home in Maui, Hawaii, surrounded by family. He was 88 years old, and he will be missed.